cloud dev just keeps on getting better. This is amazing. I in love with this VS Studio code extension. It helps speed up everything. It works so well. And the great thing about this is that the founder, Saud, it just keeps on shipping new features and, and amazing features that are very powerful. And it seems like he's really listening to the customer's feedback. Today, I wanted to share with you a few insights and updates uh, about Cloud Dev. Um, if you're not connected to the Discord channel of the Cloud Dev um, project, I highly recommend to check it out. This is actually a gold mine of ideas, uh, suggestions, and updates. So first of all, the most exciting update is the fact that they, he added an ability to edit changes before ac accepting. So let me show you an example. So I have this project, which I built 100% using Cloud Dev. By the way, it turned out to be pretty cool. Let me show you an example. So this is basically a Chrome extension that I'm using. And I'm just saving here different prompts. So test prompt for YouTube. Here's the prompt. The prompt. And then I can add tag, text, test. And then it is added over here to different prompts that I have. I can search for different prompts. So let's say social media. So I have this one. Let's say I want to search for my Twitter prompt. So I can write X or cold email, cold email, as you can see, based on the tag or based, based on the headline, sorry, and the text of the prompt. Over here, I can filter based on tags. I can obviously sort, sort by date of when I added, add, added the prompt. And I can also sort by usage, which is pretty cool. Whenever I copy the prompt, let's say I want to actually use the prompt in Cloud or OpenAI, I can just copy the prompt. And as you can see, the usage is being updated over here. Do this again, and then sort by usage. Anyway, this is just something cool that I built for myself. I call it the prompt saver. If you guys want, I can share it with you. So this was 100% built with Cloud Dev, pretty simple. But um, let's say over here, I wanted to adjust the primary color, which is pretty ugly. And in the past, we couldn't edit the difference, but now we can edit the difference before we approve or before we save the file. And this is especially useful because sometimes when you use an AI coding assistant and you prompt the LLM, the LLM sometimes take the original file and just add the comment of um, this portion of the code remains unchanged, for example. And then you basically screwed because you don't have the content of the new of the original file if you only made additions. So in this case, it's very useful. Let's assume that we had here like a comment, this remains unchanged. What you can just do, you can just push from the original file, copy and paste from the original file to the new file and then save. So this is a pretty useful addition just to avoid having these chunks of, of um, comments that says, this code remains unchanged and then it basically screws your whole project. So this is the first um, update. Another update was the ability to add search to different, um, to add search to different tasks, which is right here. Let me close this down. So you can search for different tasks. Where is it? Where is it? Um, right here in the history. You can search for different tasks and then resume the tasks. Another thing that was added was the ability. He made a few adjustments to the terminal. Let me show you in the change log. So right here. You, where is the change log? Never mind, he, he wrote it down here in the Discord. New terminal emulator. When Cloud runs command, you can now type directly in the inline terminal plus support for Python environments and added search to the task history. So as you can see, he ships so fast. Like every other day, he ships like an important, an important update. And uh, okay. A few more things that I took away from the uh, discussion in the Discord 
So one thing that is a pretty cool idea also by that was proposed by Saud is adding to the system prompt, which is here, adding a custom instruction that says after completing a task or making significant changes, automatically run git add and git commit. Basically, pushing the context and committing automatically whenever you, you've done any significant changes to the code. So this is just a cool idea of how you can use the system instructions. Um, he also shared uh, an interesting suggestion regarding the instances in which the LLM just says code remain unchanged. So just you can just add as feedback, respond something like do not om omit unmodified code and then hopefully Claude we, we all use Claude so Claude or OpenAI will retry what else there is a, there was an interesting an interesting discussion um, about structuring the code for an AI coding assistant I uploaded a video yesterday about a similar concept but I wanted to share with you this concept that was proposed by Nick Bauman Basically, what he, he proposes, let me open this up, that we can add as context, like the project name, the project type, the description, the user type flow, the design preferences, and then um, the AI coding assistant will be able to easily figure out the context and then it will build correctly because as projects become bigger, there is more context to be considered and this um, might mess things up when the AI or LLM isn't able to figure out the whole context. So many people these days are proposing different ways to feed the context and the higher level information to the LLM so it will know exactly how to update it, how to update all files, how to use the uh, correct technologies etc he also shared a few tips so let me tell you what I found meaningful so basically adding a markdown file with the cloud dev instructions instead of uh, having like the custom instructions, just swap it with a markdown file. Make sure the uh, cloud dev instruction file match the template within the mega prompt. If you want to read more about this, I will just sh share the, the link to the, to the discussion in the video description. Another interesting thing, which is obviously uh, kind of obvious, but um, it's not obvious. It's one of those things that you only, when someone points it out, you realize how important it is. So never end a task without updating the current task in Markdown. You have to prompt it to do so. Um, what else? Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Basically, this is an idea and let me show you the videos that I created yesterday. Never mind. Um, I will leave a link in the, sh in the comments about the videos that I created yesterday, which is also an alternative for providing more context about the project for the AI coding assistant. And it doesn't even matter if you're using Cloud Dev or IDEA or Continue or Corsair, you still need to give um, context in a structured manner for the AI coding assistant so it will be effective. Um, I guess that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to share with you a few updates about Cloud Dev and also this idea. I know that I didn't go in depth about this idea, which I believe is very useful and important, but I think this could, could probably be for a different dedicated video. Today, I just wanted to share with you a few updates about Cloud Dev and insights from the Discord. I highly recommend that you check out the Discord and join the channels. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Obviously, leave uh, ideas and feedback in the comment section and until next time keep on automating